A warm welcome here in Berlin and thanks to the European Commission for organizing this important conference. And I would especially like to thank you, uh, Commissioner for Health, Stella Kyriakidis, for organizing this and I wish you all the best for uh, your uh, new uh, job. You has, have has realized early that the fight against African swine, swine fever is of utmost importance for the future of the European farming families, especially for the pork sector. The African swine fever has been circulating in some EU member states since 2014 and is coming closer to the German border. Currently, there are just 21 kilometers to the German-Polish border. Everything must be done to prevent the virus from spreading to Germany. However, let's be honest, let's be blunt. The risk of transmission is very high. If it does spread, we have to contain the disease and wipe it out as soon as possible. In Germany, the DBV, the German Farmers Association, has been raising awareness among farmers since 2017. In addition, discussions are regularly held with veterinarians, hunters, and local, regional, and federal authorities. As you all know, not only a domestic pig being effect infected can cause enormous economic damage, but also an infected wild boar. This puts a lot of pressure and responsibility to our hunter communities. The whole society is asked to be alert and to help to prevent the disease. African swine fever is of great concern, not only on the pig farmers, but the whole value chain is in turmoil. The disease would affect more than 24,000 pig farms in Germany, with around 120,000 people working there. In addition, the pork companies would be affected with almost 14,000 employees and a turnover of round about 5 billion euros, euros a year. I clearly call on our global trading partners to accept the principle of regionalization in case of an outbreak in Germany. It must be possible to pursue our export activities in case only, uh, only one or a few regions are affected. I can assure our trading partners that Germany is prepared at all levels to fight against the spread of the disease in Germany. Prevention is and will be our priority. Strict compliance with biosecurity measures is essential to prevent African swine fever from entering our domestic pig stocks. But the best prevention and control measures can only be fully effective if they are not only carried out by individuals or individual regions, but by everyone and all does not revel only to Germany, but to all of Europe. The European countries have long lasting experience in cooperation. The common agricultural policy is the only fully integrated policy in the EU. This led, has led to a great network of expertise as well as to solidarity amongst all member states. This level of cooperation and solidarity is now needed to fight decidedly against the further outbreak of this disease. Ladies and gentlemen, European farmers are facing more challenges, also beyond, uh, beyond the African swine fever. I only want to mention a few. The discussion about the new common agricultural policy and the future of the budget of the EU the ambitious, the ambitious European Green Deal has been presented by Commission's President von der Leyen 
and her vice president, Timmermans, the farm to fork strategy that will be elaborated by you, Commissioner Kyriakides, will be a challenge too for all of us. It's important to take into consideration that agriculture is a part of the solution. Agriculture is not the problem. Agriculture is a part of the solution. Even when the major sustainability problems shall be solved. Policy has to listen to the needs and the concerns of the European farmers if the Green Deal and the farm to fork strategy shall have positive effects. The European farming community, COPA, and also DB, we and all our other members are ready to support you, Commissioner, as well as your colleagues. German and Europe's agriculture has already done a lot when it comes to climate protection or biodiversity, biodiversity preservation. I want to assure you, we are willing to do more together with you. But we also need to have access to modern technology. We need new vaccination. We need new, new breeding techniques. And we need modern plant protection products. And above all, we need a stable budget for the common agricultural policy, as I mentioned uh, before. Additionally, we have to await double standards when it comes to international trade agreements, for example, Mercosur agreement. The Mercosur agreement is not a positive agreement because it threatens our already sustainable agricultural model being based on, a farming, on farming families. And please keep in mind, more food being imported that has been produced under lower standards do not help to overcome the global sustainability problems. Dear Commissioner Kyriakides, you can count on our support. Let's fight together against African swine fever and let's fight together for a strong and sustainable agriculture in Europe and let's fight together for the, to the, for the good future of Europe. Thank you for your attention.